Well, after my first failure with corrugated cardboard and finding out just how hard it is to cut corrugated cardboard, and I think it must be the air gap in between the, co the top and the bottom cards that are actually causing smoke or something like that, which is absorbing the energy and the power, and it's not just able to get through to the bottom layer. I've checked the machine and I haven't lost any power on the machine when I test it against my acrylic blocks. So it's just a fundamental problem with um, corrugated cardboard, which is great news because I'm now going to use the corrugated card as a backing material which will absorb the energy, the excess energy, and hopefully stop everything from falling out. So what I've done, I've mounted the, um, I've mounted the photograph this time on a piece of 2mm thick acrylic which I know will cut and hopefully the excess energy will be taken up by the uh, corrugated cardboard behind it. Now the program is going to run a lot slower this time because I've set the speed down to 12 millimeters a second so it's going to take an age to cut this. You can see that it's cut through this time. Look. Before we take it apart, and I don't think all the pieces are have come loose. I'm just going to wipe the surface because there's a lot of acrylic dust on the surface. Well, some of the pieces have fallen out, but I'm sure some of them are still stuck in. Get myself another sheet of acrylic so I can turn it over and see what, how the back has come out. And it certainly hasn't cut through most of it, nearly, but not quite. So it's still running too fast. So our series of failures today have actually um, not been totally a waste of time because we've learnt several things. First of all, when we coat acrylic with some other materials, we can change its cutting properties as we have done here. Typically we'd expect to cut this at 12, 15, maybe even 20 millimeters a second. We can't even cut it at 12. Um, some of it cuts, some of it hasn't cut. So what we've got to do, we've got to slow it down even more, maybe to 6 millimeters a second, which means it's going to take an age to cut this, but hey, um, if we're successful it doesn't matter how long it takes. The other piece of really good news is when we look back at this failure here, which was the corrugated cardboard starting point, um, yes it was a failure, but no, there's a positive that comes out of this. We have found that it's very difficult to cut through corrugated cardboard. And that's good news for you guys that use honeycomb section in the bottom of your machine. I'm sure that a piece of thick tri-wall corrugated cardboard is a lot cheaper than a piece of honeycomb section. Give it a try because it looks as though it's going to absorb a lot of energy before it cuts. I think the problem is the air gap inside. Once you've burnt through the first section the smoke builds up inside there and the smoke absorbs the infrared radiation of the laser beam and prevents it having enough focus power to get through to the other side. But to use some famous words, we should be back. Well, here we go again. We've reduced, the, uh, we've reduced the speed to 8 millimetres a second now and the power is at 95%. So let's see whether we can eventually cut through all these multiple layers. We'll just do a track to make sure everything's lined up and you'll notice that I've actually secured the corners down to try and keep this basically at a fairly constant height for the focus. Uh, I have checked all the corners and they're probably within about three quarters of a mil of the same height. So that looks good down there and across the bottom. I'd say that's probably the best alignment so far. So let's go for a run.
see how successful we've been. Let's sit that on there and see what we've got. This is looking quite promising. All these pieces are looking quite loose. Let's just pop them back in for a second. And we're going to turn it over to start with. We've lost half the middle, it's stuck to the board, look. <laughs> They're only stuck down to the paper. They all come off nicely. So that was enough power there now to cut through everything. We've eventually succeeded. And there we are, all finished, ready for somebody to spend a little bit of time on. 142 pieces. Because like all good puzzles, I've chosen something with all the same colour in it. Lots of light, lots of dark brown, different shades of brown, some hairs that will give you a clue as to the direction of the pieces. But it's going to be a nightmare to build, I can tell you. OK, so cutting corrugated cardboard was a failure. Let's have a bit of fun to finish a session off, shall we? So yeah, fancy toast is doable, that's not dangerous material to cut. <laughs>